Hi, welcome back to Grappling Knowledge, and in this video we're going to cover the cross choke from the guard, the uh, most basic version of this. Okay. So when we're here, um, we're going to put one hand deep in the collar here. The deeper the hand can be, the better. So if you can slide it behind his neck to the, the opposite side of the neck, the better. Okay, and you're going to have your four fingers inside on this grip. Okay, so if you want, you can get it on your elbow and sit up and get all the way through if you want to. There's tons of setups on this, so don't really worry about that part. Just understand that the, the fundamental of getting your hand as deep as across as you can, the better, okay? The second hand is gonna come underneath, so if it's on the, your armpit side, that's where you're gonna go. You don't wanna grab over, okay? So when your second hand's gonna come through, you're gonna grab under on your armpit side. You're gonna slide that through. This is gonna be fingers through um, on, into the collar as well. Try to touch your fingers together here, and you're gonna rotate your wrists for the cross choke, okay? So here, fingers inside in the first grip, fingers inside in the second grip, touch your fingers together, and choke. Okay, one more time. Fingers inside, fingers inside, and choke. Okay, so there's a lot of little de details of this. And um, one part about this is when you get your hand inside here, and your second inside, hand inside here, your hands are gonna turn backwards, um, like you would if you had a push-up. Okay, and you wanna actually rotate your wrists forward to like you're punching somebody and even more down like if you're gonna be curling somebody. So if your hands are flat like this and you kind of flip them upside down because that's where you're gonna grab, make a fist and start turning it like you're gonna do a curl. Okay, that's way how your wrist uh, is gonna turn from a, have your hands flat backwards here to rotating them in and curling them in until it taps, okay? So here, rotate your hands from down like this up to a curl, okay? The second part about this is uh, getting like body leverage into this. Um, it's kind of like when you're at a gym. If you hold weights out really far, you're just gonna be a lot harder and it's, you're gonna feel uh, it's heavier if your hands are far away. If you put your weight close to your chest, it's gonna be easier. So the same principle is gonna work here. When I'm getting in the cross choke, if I'm gonna try and cross choke him here with the arms really extended here, it's gonna be very hard, okay? Even if I do have my hands all the way deep, it's gonna be a little tougher. If I can pull them in where my, my hands are going to get close to my chest and I can expand my chest here, you can get a lot more power out of your body. So as you get your hands up high, get your grip, slide them down to your chest. Once you get down to your chest, pull your elbows or take like a deep breath and pull your elbows to the ground. Okay, that's how to use your, your body and your torso to get generate the most power if you don't have a, a, the best grip possible. So one more time, two hands in the grip, pull him down to your chest and then uh, take a deep breath or pull your elbows to the mat, okay, to generate the most power with your body. Okay, this is a very easy move to see, but uh, it takes a lot of practice. Work on rotating your wrists, keeping your wrists to your body, and then expanding with your chest and your, your back. And it'll generate the most power for your body. Thank you very much.